Hello everybody, this is Android Gamer, and today I'm back with this War of Mine, continue on from where we were. So I'm pretty sure we now just got the food for the hobo. <clears throat> so I want to check to make sure. Or did I? No, I have to get the food. Okay. <clears throat> That's right. Sign you over here this time. So you can see the time and everything. Wait, I was going through and grabbing stuff. <clears throat> okay. Do that and <clears throat> go straight to sleep. I'll wait and see if the merchant actually comes this time. I need stuff. I have set the cell. <clears throat> There's one or two other places I can go to get food, hopefully. One a little bit more safer than the other one, so... Eight, so on day ten, I need to eat. Yes, I realized that very quickly in the game that <clears throat> you can wait till the second day before you actually have to eat, even though it says you're hungry, you can wait. Okay, he is not coming, so I can rest. <clears throat> hey, and he's refreshed now, so there's nothing there. This is some food there. It's also food there. Okay, so let's try here first. And I'm also going to take this stuff here. Take the dog. And yeah. <laughs> So is a merchant here, I know, so I can see what he can give if he has any food. Mm -mm. Okay. What's around here? Nothing there. I'm going to quickly run through here and see if there's anything. No. Nope. Am I going to need a saw to get through there? It's a fruit on the other side there. There's water. At least take that. More stuff I can sell. <clears throat> and the fire door, yeah. Okay. Yes, I do. And yes, you do. Huzzah. Uh, 
I'll take that too. Okay. Come on. There. It's absolutely nothing else. <clears throat> Deal and run. So that's good. That gives me two out of the three food that I need to give the homeless man. There's one other place that I can go to <clears throat> without having to go to the soldiers, which is a good thing. Because those soldiers, who Hey, no one came. All right. I'm just gonna go straight to sleep and proceed through here. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go here. <clears throat> Essentially, there's no one here. Take it then again. Actually, I don't need you. I do need you though. And you. And you two things. Okay. <clears throat> I should probably find some wood. For cooking, yes, there is a fridge there. I'll take that just in case. You never know. <coughs> you never know when you're going to come across a gun. I'm going to take four. Okay, that's all I need. Come on, give me more food. I do not want to have to go and deal with soldiers. <coughs> there you are. Sure, just a heck of it. And why not? I'm going to quickly run through here and <coughs> see what else I can find. Ooh, yes, please. saw. And I think I need a saw up there as well. Yes, I do. Okay. <clears throat> Not that I need any of that because I have what I need for the hobo to find out where my daughter is. Or where Adam's daughter is, I should say. Okay, load it up. Day 10. Perfect, so I'm going to eat. Well, thankfully, I do have food now, so. <clears throat> I have a tin, so that'll last me another day. Another couple of days, I should say. 
So I have four days right now. And end the day. Okay, back the shield. Yeah, back the shield school. Take everything of importance. Water. Those. That and that. I'm going to get rid of the food here, so. And look. Because <clears throat> all I'm really doing is going to go talk to him, give him the food, and then run back out. Back here. Yeah, there he is. Just was so fast. Oh, it's you again. Did you bring me the food? Yes. Here's your food, you greedy bastard. Now spill it. Not the beans, just spill what you know. No need to be rude. There isn't much to tell. I've seen a blonde girl, maybe ten years old. Some guy about your size was carrying her towards a hospital. The hospital? You better be right for your sake. <clears throat> You can waste your breath threatening me or go look for your daughter. Okay. Run. <clears throat> what doesn't make sense? The noise? You just heard me. Adam is back. <clears throat> okay, the hospital. Need to go find her at the hospital. First off, however, I am going to <clears throat> turn these into fuel. Please come on. We need to check the hospital. I know, but we can't leave during the day. You'll be shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. The army is out, and they will shoot you if they see you. We can only go at night. There. Okay. In the day... City Hospital. Prepare. Look for Amelia. Oh. 
no bandits thing. <clears throat> Going for my daughter. I heard she is rumored to be here. Who rumors she's being brought here? I don't know anything, man. Feel free to ask around. Maybe someone knows something. Okay, I'm going to go. Wait, who are you? Hey, have you seen 10 year old girl? I'm looking for my daughter. Nope. Sorry for your loss. I haven't given up on her yet. I will save her. I won't give. Get my hopes up if I were you. Not all, with all the soldiers around. Look, they tortured me. Mutilated. Bloody bastards. I hope they rot in the grave before this is all over. <clears throat> she here? Yes. Thought she's here. Where's the next one up? No. Okay. Down. Someone's here. Good evening. Excuse me, I have a question. Please come back later. I'm the only nurse left after the bombing. I have to tend this patient. I don't know how to get th there. Okay, I guess I do. <clears throat> Fine. Right. Right, there she is. That hoodie. Excuse me, this hoodie belonged to my daughter. How did you get it? I got it from a nurse. Ask her if you don't believe me. The nights are very cold, especially now after the bombing. Please let me keep it. I'm very weak. Even minor infection could kill me. Come on. The woman from the second floor told me you gave her a hoodie. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, it belonged to my daughter. Do you know where she is? Oh. We've had some children here. Maybe Dr. Jeffrey Moe Mo, Mo, could help you, but last night he was taken by soldiers. Do you know whether he took him? Should occur by the entrance, might know. As for a hoodie, I found it discarded on the second floor. I'd appreciate it if you didn't take it. We're very short on blankets and warm clothes. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, I didn't realize what time it was. Talk to you quickly. I heard you know where the doctor was taken. <laughs> Who told you that? What's your connection to him? I'm looking for my daughter, and he might know where she is. I must talk to him. He won't be in any condition to talk, even if they let him out, I, which I strongly doubt. But I can't. I can tell you're desperate, so there's an abandoned toy store nearby. People are taken there for interrogation. I won't. I wouldn't go there if I were you, though. It's suicide. But I must. Because <coughs> I must find my daughter.
Okay, so eat. And then off to this toy store. <laughs> Sorry if it seems like I'm just plowing through this, but for the most part, all this <coughs> DLC is just the story itself. So there's no... You could go around and scavenge stuff, you could try to get across the bridge if you want, but there's absolutely no real reason to expand the plot on the story. Give me a toy story. And this is where it gets difficult. <clears throat> kind of. If I do this right. If not, you're going to see me suddenly close this out and restart. <clears throat> because these are very armed people. Did he talk? Not yet, but it's a matter of time. <clears throat> Wrap it up quickly. I'm getting hungry. It won't take long now. I'm going to go back to the basement. Going back to the basement to finish the job. You keep an eye on it for insurgents. No worries, have fun. Wait for him to leave. I'm taking senior duty over interrogation any day. Okay. That's different than what happened before. That was close. Okay. I don't know anything about the insurgents. Bullshit, the whole hospital is a friend for you. <clears throat> I was just helping people. Stop lying. You're helping rebels. Where are the survivors? Where did you send them? Uh, I'll tell you. Just don't hurt me anymore. Hit me anymore. <clears throat> Spill it! The church. People were gathering there for the humanitarian corridor. For many, it is the last chance, especially for sick kids. The church. That's where the doctor sent the children. Now here you have a decision, you can either save the doctor, or just run. In this case, unfortunately, I'm going to have to run. Go, 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 go. 
because I don't have anything to feed all of them. <clears throat> so the church is the last place. So she might be there. Let's hope. Everything points to the church. The humanitarian corridor is to be open near the church. That's where I'll find Amelia. Let us hope, Adam. the church. Take everything with me, possibly for the last time. I wonder if I could take everything. Almost. Almost everything. Other than the fuel. That's okay. We will see if we find a meal here or not, and possibly even get out. So many bodies. Are they the people who came for the humanitarian corridor? Civilian shot in the back of the head. It was clearly an execution. <clears throat> More bodies. Someone rounded up these people and killed them in cold blood. It was a massacre. Excuse me, Father. I'm looking for my daughter, Amelia. Please, tell me she didn't die in the massacre. She didn't. Thank God. Is she here? Yes, or she is. You can go see her. My prayers are with her. help you get better. You're, you're right, thank God. Don't just stand there, do something. <clears throat> this place, I've been here before, oh no. She's getting worse by the minute. Don't, please don't die on me. I'll find a way to save you. <clears throat> the memories are coming back. Oh God, I, I think I re remember. There must be some meds here. Fuck, it's not working. <coughs> the doctor is our only hope. Couldn't help you myself. <clears throat> the doctor. Please, you must help her. I'm sorry.
You are too late. Kind of started to notice the tone in the background there the second time. Oh my god, my munchkin. <clears throat> Amelia, I. Oh god, this can't be. I, I promised. I failed. I tried so hard to save you. You learn the truth about Amelia's fate. <clears throat> It's not any better than this second time around. Oh, I remember seeing this. I was like, oh, it hit me so hard when I suddenly realized that <clears throat> it was all memories. That the first part where he passed out was all part of his memories that not, none of it really happened. That he just kept reliving those same memories over and over again. <clears throat> Brothers are murdered. Hobo knows where he was. He went to the hospital. <laughs> found out that the doctor was being interrogated and found out where the corridor was and everyone was dead already. The same as his daughter. <clears throat> he finally remembered. Oh my goodness. It, just, it really hit me hard when I saw it. I was like, oh my goodness, I thought it would be a happy ending, but it wasn't. <sighs> Dissociative amnesia is a memory disorder characterized by sudden re Retrograde memory loss and is caused by severe stress or trauma, such as that of witnessing the death of a long loved one. The person suffers from it, forget, suffering from it forgets the painful experience as if it never happened and lives in denial. So he had dissociative amnesia the whole time. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that is it for Father's Promise. I did see there's other DLCs that are available on Steam. If you want to try that for yourself, you can certainly go ahead. I, I might reach out to the developers and see if there's any thoughts of moving <clears throat> some of them over to Android and I'm playing myself. If you want to watch, uh, certainly subscribe and ring the notification bell to receive notifications on future videos. It's Android Gamer, later days, and happy gaming!